Setting up to film today has been a ruckus, you could say. Like, several times I've set the camera up and my daughter just comes running in. She's not alone right now, by the way. My part-time nanny is here right now with her and they're going over some of the homeschool stuff that I'm doing with Violet, but she's like busted in here and she's like, I gotta show you this super cool trick. And then she gave me something that she was like, you should wear this in your video. And so it's, um, it's like an Elsa braid. And so my daughter is super into princesses right now and being that character. Like if she's Elsa, she commits. If she's Anna, she commits. And so anyway, she was like, mommy, you gotta be Elsa today. So I guess this will be like my good luck charm for filming today. I want to talk to you guys about something I've been doing lately that has just been feeling so good. And it's really for my moms out there listening because a lot of times when I make videos, I just want to appeal to the person that specifically female that is going through like the ebbs and flows of your health and fitness like it's not just like one thing like once you get a routine that's it it's like life gets in the way too like the first thing for me if i'm busy the first thing that drops is my workout like bam we're done like we're taking a break like that's the first thing that drops some people might be different but for me like that really is like the first thing that goes if you can relate to that then maybe like some of my videos where i go over different routines anyway since we're in march something that has been speaking to me is that around the holidays like around christmas time I just kind of take a break from personal goals. I kind of take a break from goals in general. It's all about like Christmas and the holidays and crunch time and for influencers, that's like a big brand time too where you're getting things done and crossing things off your list. And I kind of like that like busy feeling. But then January comes and I get so excited about the new year and my goals and what I want to accomplish. And that excitement lasts till February, right? Hang in there with me if this is you. But then by March, something happens and you just don't feel that like same oomph, right? Especially for my moms because we have to like change brains so much. Okay, I'm in mommy mode now, I'm in personal goals mode and now I'm in work mode and you're just like, your brain is just going from bam, 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 bam. A trick that I've been doing and if you've been following me on Instagram then you've been seeing it is that I've been coming up with weekly goals. So just like a little checklist that I have, you could think of it like a challenge or weekly goals or a checklist, however, whatever gets you personally motivated i just like kind of want that to be be the theme for the video of like what gets you personally motivated and so i created a list of like all the things that i'm creating for myself and then at the end of the week i can cross them off and i feel so good and i want to share those with you guys because if you look at the bigger picture of like what goals you created for 2024 sometimes it could be so out of reach where you're like okay i want this but I'm here. How am I gonna bridge that gap? Like, how am I gonna get there? And you feel so far away from your goals. And anything I've learned about manifesting and abundance and achieving your goals in these like, you know, last 10 years of my self-development journey, what I realized is that the more you feel far away from your goals, the further you actually will be from them. The closer you feel to your goals and you feel like it's it's there and in fact, I actually have it and you become that person the faster you manifest. The first weekly goal that I have for myself that you already know if you follow me on Instagram is I have to work out three days a week. So what I'll do is I always make Monday my first workout because that sets the tone for the week. If I made Tuesday my first workout, then 
I don't know. I feel like I can make excuses for myself. That's just me personally. So what I do is Sunday night, I buy the class. So I purchase the class Sunday night and I'm like, I'm, I'm going. And I pick the earliest one so that I can go before my husband and daughter wake up. And funny enough, my husband does the same thing. So on the days he works out, he goes before we wake up so that it's just kind of like, there's no distractions. You just get up and go. So that's like the first thing. And I do a hot sculpt class of so the hot sculpt class i believe is 100 degrees or like 96 degrees and it's like lifting weights cardio abs all of that while in like a heated infrared um workout and then the other one i do is reformer pilates this is big for me you know like this is huge because like i said the first thing that goes when i'm busy with mom life the other thing is like i'm homeschooling violet right now like not forever but just right now and you know you see all these like tiktoks and instagrams and the mom's like you know you have so much freedom homeschooling like it's so nice you don't have to go on this schedule where you're rushing out the door in the morning to school and it's like all the stuff and i'm like yeah but it's a lot of work like it's so much work homeschooling and and right now i have like personal we'll get into the goals with that in a minute but anyway i I can feel overwhelmed with things very easily. Eating healthy comes very easily to me. I am so scared of the food industry and, and some of the ingredients and it's that's enough motivation for me to eat healthy. So that's not the first to go for me personally. It's just the working out. I'm like, ah, I don't need to go. Now, if I didn't create this challenge for myself, I probably would work out once a week. My second goal of the week is increasing my protein intake. So I always have like a fish or a meat for dinner. So that like takes care of that protein. I always have a morning protein shake, but I've been finding ways to add in more protein throughout the day. So the first thing that I've been doing is collagen coffee or collagen matcha. So I, so I actually shared my collagen matcha in another video. So I'll leave that video down below and it's like spicy and delicious and protein. Um, but I also do it with my coffee too every single morning that way I'm starting the morning I would already be drinking coffee anyway, but this way I'm starting the morning with uh, Protein my third weekly goal and this is like a very personal one to me But you have to look at what your bigger picture is for your life and for your year specifically So what did you put in your vision board for 2024? Like what do you want to achieve this year? What do you want to do? What do you want to save? What do you want this year? This is more motherhood goals, but I set a goal that I want to teach my daughter the alphabet by her fourth birthday. So she could sing the song, you know, the ABC song, but I want her to be able to see G, capital and lowercase, and know that that's G, or see A, capital lowercase, and no. So every week I give her a new letter to go over. So every week I have a fun way to go over the alphabet. Like no week is the same. Like some weeks we do flashcards, some weeks we go outside and I'll chalk the letters we're going over so right now she can recognize a through h and i'll just like go on our driveway and i'll be like okay we're gonna play hopscotch and i make it like a fun thing and i'll be like okay stand on h or stand on a so then i know that she's like looking and can find it another project will be like play-doh and we'll do the shapes and i'll say okay roll the dough and make a b or something like that so every week is different and that requires me to you know, do my homework the night before, like go on Pinterest and find ideas or look around our house and see like, okay, what do we have? I don't like go buy new things every week. It's just like, what do we have that I can incorporate the letters? She turns four this summer in August and by four, I would love her to know the whole alphabet. I don't have like a teacher background or anything. I'm just, this is just while she's three that we're homeschooling, you know, just like teaching her things that she'll need to know for school. Oh, it's so rewarding when, we're out and about and we were at Whole Foods, for example, and she's like, mom, look, the letter G. And I was like, oh, wow. And it's been so exciting just to see her learn it. And kids love to learn. Kids are like sponges and they just love it. My fourth weekly goal, and this has helped so much with late night snacking and after dinner snacking, is I would always read so much about peppermint tea that it's so good for your digestion. But I'm not like, I don't know, I like tea, but I'm not like a big tea person. But I started like just forcing myself in the beginning, like right after I was done with dinner, I'd get like a hint of a sweet tooth. I'm like, sure, sometimes I'll have dark chocolate or I'll have dessert and it's whatever, it's not a huge deal. But I'm like, you know what? I want to challenge myself to like not always need the sweets. So I started challenging myself to just make, after dinner, make the peppermint tea. So I make it, I sip on it at night. Me and my husband are watching The Gentleman right now on Netflix and it's like, 
so relaxing that I like look forward to this routine and I know that it's been helping my digestion and just helping everything move along. If you're somebody that late night snacks or even afternoon snacking, like tea doesn't have to be an evening thing. It's just, that's when I crave sugar. I, have to, I definitely have to be really careful with my sugar because it affects everything for me, including my menstrual cycle. Like I will literally have a 40 or 50 day cycle, which is not normal for me when I'm having too much sugar. So not only is it like for body goals or you know weight loss goals for myself or anything like that, it's also just like for my overall health, like I need to be careful with sugar. And my last weekly goal is a mental health goal. And I wasn't even sure if I was gonna mention it in this video because I've changed so much with my channel in that I don't wanna share as much of my personal personal life anymore like it started with taking <laughs> my dog's like stop talking be private but uh it started with taking my daughter's face off instagram and and youtube and you know you guys see her like in my stories like you'll see what we're doing i don't hide the fact that i'm a mom yeah it started with that and then it started to be like more and more things of like oh i don't want to share this i don't want to share that and it's funny because the more exciting my life has been like we do so many fun things during the week like and weekends too but i used to live for the weekends because i'd be like me and my husband are both together like we could do fun things as a family but now like we have so many friends here in fort lauderdale it's really becoming like home home and that's really exciting to not just live for the weekends like to just have your dream life where every day is something fun and like i'll leave my phone at home or i won't share the photos of what we're doing and it's I've just become so private of like what I share. And I think because I am a mom now that I'm like, oh wow, the internet is forever. Like I I saw a subscriber uh, last weekend, she came over and said hi. And she mentioned like this story that I told like when I was still living in LA before being a mom. And it was like the time that I went to the hospital because I thought I saw a worm in my poop. And it was because my friend at the time was like, I have worms. And I was like, you do? You were just at my house. And it turned out it was, it was just fiber. Like this is, an, I'm retelling the story as embarrassing as I, I was like, why did I ever even tell that story on YouTube? And now I'm retelling it again for those that don't know now, you know. I went home laughing that she remembered that story and and that that was just another version of me, you know, just being in my 20s and just just talking, like just being myself. And it's not that I'm not myself now, I'm just myself, but just a piece of it is completely private. Yeah, something I started doing and that I said I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was going to mention it in this video, but I'm just going to mention it is that I started going to therapy. But she kind of, I don't know if she even calls it therapy. She kind of calls it like a mix of both where it's like therapy but life coaching it's like both mixed in together which is pretty cool and so i don't go every single week so it's not like every single week i go it's like every other week it's when i can fit it in with my time as a mom i've always wanted to do this but always felt it was such a luxury like oh i'm gonna pay somebody to talk about my day or life or whatever like no you can't do that sam like I, I never gave myself the freedom to actually even just try it one time just to see i put it on my list this year that i want to do it and my husband like made it happen he like called somebody for me and was like your appointment's monday and i'm like Oh, okay because I kept putting it off putting it off he's like you're going you said you want to do it you should do it going back to my weekly challenges for myself I will practice whatever we talk about that week and it takes such restraint so anybody that is in therapy or life coaching or whatever you're going through such personal development and growth that it's so easy to stay the same. I'll get a really good tip from her and then it'll be time to apply it in my life. Like the situation will come up and it's hard not to go back to your old ways or old patterns. And so I think that if anybody can practice things for their mental health and add that in their weekly checklist, it's so valuable so easy to be the same old you it's hard to go through personal growth and it's hard to actually practice the things that your coach may might talk to you about or um, even hearing a tip in a book or hearing a tip on youtube before even going to see her i i just like watched free things at first and i would try to apply it and i think whoa this is hard even with like parenting sometimes we'll talk about parenting and 
you know, not wanting to repeat the same patterns that my parents did and, and what I was taught. So every week I'm not perfect, but, and the same thing goes with diet and fitness. Like we're never always perfect. It's life's a journey. It's not like, you know, you become set in a routine and that's it. Telling myself like, okay, these are the challenges that I'm giving myself every week. One thing that I'm practicing this week, um, I'm not gonna talk about like everything that I talk about there, but one thing I'm practicing this week is like with motherhood, triggers that I might get as a mom, like certain things that might happen that I feel triggered by. Okay, it has nothing to do with my daughter. It has nothing to do with the situation or what we're doing or the other moms or whatever. It's in with me. It's something myself, it's something within. So going deeper and asking myself, why does this trigger me? And it's so interesting how you can heal yourself and grow. And if you actually do the work, I never knew what people meant when they were talking as far as mental health goes. So you gotta put in the work now, now I know. And I know at the end of the year, I'm gonna have such growth, growth to look back on and say like, wow, I am a better version of myself. Not a different person, but a better version of myself. I hope you guys got some good tips. Let me know down below what was your favorite tip. I'd love to know. It definitely helps my channel to know what you guys like hearing about, what you guys like to talk about, any areas that I can help with, at least share my experience with. And I post in real time on Instagram. So if you want more tips or more recipes or whatever, I share a lot on my Instagram. So have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon.